watching a video about an area in Detroit and the lady had gone away for a few days and the neighbors just went on in and were cooking her food and having a party and drinking her booze. And one of the other neighbors said to the reporter, she should have known better than to be gone for a week to leave her house alone. You don't leave your house alone in the neighborhood. So, none of us are naive to all the stuff going on in the world. It's just beyond believable and ridiculous. People seem to have no care, no value, no value upon human life. But, I don't know, you get a job. I don't want to talk too much about my job, but you get a job like I have care and compassion. And then you just find out that there's no care, and there's no compassion, and just everything you have to deal with, and it just totally day by day astounds me. All I ever hear is they don't care. I go to clients that are crying. I go to clients that are upset. I go to clients that say every time they see the commercial for our organization on TV, they want to smash their TV. They're so like just so upset because. You know, the manager's been out there talk to him. She knows what they said isn't true. And on and on and on. It's just, I go to clients and they say, it's so Mickey Mouse run. And then I try to work with them with my illness. And I just get, you know, I'm getting told that, well, maybe you shouldn't work in this job. And it's like, and somebody needs to care. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is a good job for me because somebody's supposed to be caring for these clients. And I may not have a lot of energy. But when I go there, one thing I can do is show care and honesty and help the best I can. And that's what it's supposed to be about, not deceiving and lying and just, oh, well, you, you, we don't have to do this and we don't have to do that and we don't have to do this for this client. We don't have just passing the buck, trying to get out of everything they can. And it's like, it's so disheartening. I don't know if there's a company out there that just doesn't fit in with the whole rest of this world. It's just greed. There's no value put upon humans and how they feel. You're just a employee number and and I just every day I just can't believe it. It just makes me so sad and it just is so disheartening. You watch all the stuff on the news and the murders and the bodies that are found and the stealing and the lying and the thieving and the greediness and selfishness and you try to do something good and you have a job where you want to help people and I don't know and then the company is just as bad as the whole rest of the world and it's just so sad and it's so disheartening and it's so upsetting and and uh, I was looking for something. I was on the Women's College of Toronto site. And I was reading about, on that site, another organization that was offering, I don't know, like benefits. I forget what it was called. It had initials. It was like four initials. And it offers some sort of benefits and stuff. So then I did a search on this company. And uh, in the search that came up on this company because that company was for the University of Toronto and I thought oh I wonder if they offer it in other ways to other people and other companies and so I did a search and I looked it up and there was people who were not saying good things about it. but there was a rate my employee which I never knew existed I knew there was rate my MD for your doctor I happened to that site and this was rate my employer which I didn't even know existed so I got in and of course I was under the company that I was looking at that I had read about and so of course I had to search up my company and <laughs> yeah not a lot of nice stuff unfortunately it's sad it's sad it breaks my heart ah <sighs> so frustrating so very frustrating it's hard when you just want to do good and then you just get I don't know you constantly in this world you get knocked down every which way there is anyways that's too long of a video